Hey, Michaela, I have not had coffee yet this morning. And so this is truly spontaneous, but oh, I love you. I'm so excited for this day. I'm so excited for what we're going to build here together. And beyond that, like what's this land, what the, all the business and everything, I am excited to build a life with you. I'm excited to have a little Michaela, a little Landon running around sometime in the near future. I know I'm ready. You're not there yet, but uh, I'm so excited. And you are beautiful on the inside and the out. I cannot wait to see you walk down this aisle. The beauty of your heart, though, and the woman that I know I'm receiving underneath all of that, it's truly, truly amazing. Your heart is one of the most beautiful ones I've seen and I, I looked high, far, wide for a woman like you, and there was none to be found but you. And so I'm so excited. And I keep saying I'm excited. I guess that's the only word in the English la language. I'm ecstatic. I am deeply longing for and desiring you. And I can't wait to speak three words over you for the rest of our lives together. You are the woman of the hour, and you are ready for this next season. Even when you feel like you're, you're not, and the insecurities rise up, you are so ready. And the Lord has made you ready. And I am so excited to get to receive all that you've become, and so much more. Love you, Michaela. And why don't you recount the story of you guys first meeting? Well, that was a pretty interesting story that um, we, I walked into OM. I mean, you remember this. I walked into OM, and I had met all the other interns but you. And I was like, where is this Michaela person? And then you come in late for the doozies workshop, and all of a sudden, I just have this vision. I'm like, I am pretty sure it's for you. I see that beautiful well that's just starting to overflow, but it's so big and so deep. It wasn't, this wasn't just like a small well. This was 20 feet wide. It was just a massive wellhead of stone of all things, you know, and it just started to overflow. And I knew that the Lord was speaking. There's, you're filling up and you're just, you're about to start overflowing. And I'm so excited because now I get to experience what the Lord is doing through that. And what were some of your first impressions of her? My first impression is like, eh. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, beyond the fact that you were beautiful, I was just kind of, I guess it was because I saw that wild and that adventurous. And what's so funny is when we find somebody that's like everything that we've been criticized for, we tend to criticize. And I was like, this girl is going to have to calm it down. She's going to have to pick which direction she wants to go. Everything that I've been told my entire life, I wanted to tell you, you know, so it was a beautiful moment, but there was also this, a lot of self-realization of, you know, learning how to love you in all that you are and not trying to constrict you in any way. Like uh, that song says, the banks of the river, like when you need to overflow, it, like go about it. But, you know, I just want to, I just want to be there to help guide you and, and walk with you to wherever your destination is. I'm sure there's a thousand things. What are just a few of your favorite things about her? My favorite things, her laugh. Oh, gosh, it brings brings so much joy to my heart. Joy is overused, I know, Michaela, but <laughs> it does. Um, I think the fact that you always climb the mountain with me, you know, you're not just going to sit on the sideline. You're in it with me. And in this big adventure, I need that. So I love that you're always with me. And uh, I think the way that you are to other people, I wanted that person that could be with the poor person and the rich person, you know, because that's who I was. I have the friends and uh, the homeless on the streets, and I've got my friends and in, in they're wealthy in high places. And I wanted somebody that could love both well. And you're the first person I've ever found like that. And so I, I found my counterpart in you in that. And what are you uh, excited about for marriage in the short term, like upcoming weeks? 
Oh, I'm just excited for us to spend time together and not have to worry about anything other than one another. And just, just to, I mean, especially this next week, get away from this place full of stress and just be with you and, and let all the stress go and just love you. That's what I'm excited for. And what are you excited about for marriage in the long term, like 10, 20 years? Oh, man, I think I'm most excited to see you as a mom. I, I, I've i seen you with these kids, and some kids, you're just another gal off the street, but the ones that you've bonded with, you're such an amazing caretaker, and you love them so well, you play with them, and I know we're going to get to see a little bit of Mama Bear Michaela, and that's a whole new you, but I also know that you're going to have so much fun with our kids. And so I, watching you become a mom as a new identity is going to be one of the most gorgeous things ever. And then how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling a little nervous because I said I was going to do this whole like you know testimony speech thing, and I don't know what I'm going to say yet. And you know the Lord hasn't fully given the vow, so I'm a little nervous. But I'm I also know so I can't even feel my brain is deferring the emotion of today. I can't even feel that it's there, um, that, that what's going to hit, because I know it's going to be so deep, because you sit in such a deep place in my heart. And what's a, what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship with her, like something that she's taught you? I've learned that there are better ways than my ways. <laughs> no, I've, learned, I've learned to listen to you, and the Lord has just shown me that you are here to help my life, and I've learned to just listen to the wisdom. Have to, sometimes I can't, you know. I'm a bull, and a, you know, I just, I just can't. But you know, when I, when I do listen to you, I've never regretted it. I've never regretted when you, you know, cited a hesitancy or anything. I, I hear you, and I'm with you. Thank you. Last little thoughts or final words to her? Oh my gosh. You did an awesome job with this whole thing. You're such a rock star. I've lost my wallet once again. Maybe going to Cancun without that. But um, I've got my passport. And uh, I, I'm so excited to see you just continue to flourish here. I mean, I remember, was it two months ago? Not even. You're sitting out right at two months ago. You're sitting out here just crying because you didn't know what your place would be, where you would fit in, what your role would be, and now you do. And there's so much more. You know that there is a place for you, that you are the boss, that you know the best and you specialize. And I'm watching you grow in the confidence of that and how the Lord has gifted that to you in such a short period of time here. Hi Landon, today's a day we're getting married. <laughs> Three months felt like a long time. I can't do it. <laughs> I gave up. Oh, this is good. This day is a good. Wow, okay. I can do it. No, I can do it. Oh, okay. Today is a day and I'm not going to make it through the wedding without being blubbering. Um, but I love you so much. I've grown so much with you and I can't wait to continue to grow with you. To love with you, to laugh with you, to, to do life, to take on the challenges, the highs and the lows. I love you so much. You're my best friend, my partner and everything. and. Life is so much sweeter and brighter and filled with you and with you in it. I love you. I can't wait to stand by your side. Give you a big smooch today as your wife and continue this next chapter in our life. And why don't you recount the story of you guys first meeting? Oh, okay. Um, we met in Georgia in last year um we didn't talk much for the first two months of him being there and me being there i was never there um but then we started to hang out with another friend and as interns at operation mobilization 
and um, just little by little getting to have deep conversations, great conversations. And um, as I saw his heart for the people, his heart for God, um, his diligence and always growing and always walking through hard things and spending more time together, we just developed this by by chance we happened to be at the right place at the right time where it was just us where we had those intimate moments and um yeah from then on just more of those times until it was undeniable that he was the one um we wanted to be together next why don't you uh i'm sure there's a thousand things but share a few mm -hmm. of your favorite things about him um <laughs> landon loves people so well he pushes their boundaries into making them become better people. He's wild and crazy, but he's he's wild and crazy for the Lord and for the kingdom and for his people. He's crazy about me, about loving me well, about making me laugh, making me cry, <laughs> and all the good things in between. He is adventurous. He says yes. And he pushes me to say yes to things and push past my fear. He is considerate in the ways that he loves me. He is uh, a trailblazer. And he's he is alone could have changed the world and changed people. And to get to be alongside him and seeing death become life and watching that and everything he touches turns to gold. Um, I love his smile, I love his laugh, and I just love his being and being around him. <laughs> and uh, what are some things you're most excited about for marriage in the short term, like upcoming weeks? Cancun, after two weeks of hardcore work in so many areas of our lives, um, just to relax. <laughs> but to just get in, in that, spending that deep quality time not frantic and just getting to to be with one another um to experience we're in a whole new stage of life through marriage through where we're living through what we're doing with our lives and just getting to tackle it together you know, the good days the bad days the hard days um the days in which god sends us people that he knew we needed um and so just we are on a huge adventure and I'm just so excited to begin it as his wife. And what are you excited about for marriage in the long term, like 10, 20 years? Oh, to raise those kids, <laughs> maybe 40 of them um, or more, um, to just to have a home where people get to come and get to experience us as mother and father for um, getting to grow a family, getting to to all sorts of seasons to get to see him in 20 years of how he's grown and how he's changed and how I've grown and how I've changed. Um, to just getting to do new experiences together for the rest of our lives. I highly doubt we'll ever stop doing new things and I'm so excited. <laughs> and how are you feeling right now? Like more on the nervous, more excited? Um, little shaky, so excited. Um, don't think I'll keep it together, all poised, but I'm gonna try. Um, and I'm just so excited. It seems like a long time coming, a really short time coming. And um, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> and then are there, uh, is there a lesson you've learned through your friendship with him, like something that he's taught you? This man has taught me to, to experience my emotions deeply in a way that I have naturally been indifferent in a lot of ways as a coping mechanism. He has given me the space and the comfortability, you Landon, have given me the space and the comfortability to be myself, to experience the, the depth of pain, the uh, true expression of joy, and everything in between. You have made me better in just the few short months and year that I've known you. That I like myself better who I am today. And that is in part because of you. And I am so thankful for how you love me, all of me, as I am. 
And any final words or thoughts to him? I love you, you crazy man. Stop losing your wallet. <laughs> and I can't wait to be with you, to be your wife. Michaela and Landon, we are so excited for you and happy um, that God brought you guys together. Um, Michaela has been my friend for so long and I cannot think of um, a more perfect man for my friend than Landon. Uh, the first time we met Landon, he uh, it was the day after Christmas. Yep. He got into the San Diego airport at like midnight and then picked us up in San Diego and drove us two hours to LAX. Yeah. So by the time we were there, it was like 4 a.m. So he yeah. did an all-nighter for us and that really showed me how much he cared about um, Michaela's friends and just how selfless he is because it takes a lot of selflessness to be uh, that tired and to still be conversational and kind. And we just had the best time talking uh, with him in the car so um yeah. yeah i just i love you both um i love this place even though you know i'm not a nature girl <laughs> yeah. we uh promise to be back here more often yeah than not so we love you guys yeah just want to say that you guys both if there's any two people that i can be a hundred percent confident would change the world it would be you uh, two 100 percent yeah. uh and this space that you guys are creating and you're going to create I just both Ari and I are 100% confident that you guys are going to touch lives here, that there's going to be young people that come here mm -hmm. whose hearts are changed forever, mm -hmm. who meet Jesus, uh, and who meet you guys and are just changed because of the love that you guys have. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank you already for being a light in your marriage to this mm -hmm. world, that people are going to know you and they're going to know the love of Jesus because of you. Really thankful for that. And yeah, we're so thankful for this experience that you guys have given us on your yeah. property. And thanks for your faith, being yeah. willing to say yes to all that the Lord has for you guys. We love you. We love you. Yeah, woohoo. First of all, I just wanna say congratulations to you guys. Um, you know, I'm glad I got really close to you as of the last couple of years, Landon and Michaela, can't wait to get really close to you. I said congratulations, I'm gonna say it again. Congratulations, love you guys.